Hey everybody. So Ableton Live 12.1 is out today and along with it is this pack that I made with five MIDI tools in it. So this is available for free for anybody with Live 12 Suite or with Live 12 and a Max for Live license. Uh, and you can download it by either coming to uh, ableton.com and going to packs. Uh, it's right there on the, on the main packs page or you can install it from within Live and I'll show you how to do that. So these devices that are included in this pack are in this MIDI tools vein that I've been working on uh, for most of this year. Uh, many of you may remember that back when Live 12 initially launched, I released 12 devices. And two of those, an updated version of them is included in this pack. And then I actually have three additional uh, devices that are exclusive to this pack. So I'm gonna spend a little bit of time in this video going through those new devices and showing them off. There'll be a longer video in the future where I go into the devices in detail. And while I have you, there's two other uh, things that I wanna share. So the first is that I have a new web store, meyer-devices.com. Um, I'm going to be migrating off of Gumroad for now that's still active. And um, if you have bought devices from me in the past through Gumroad, I'm gonna kinda get you moved over onto this new platform. For now, if you want to re-download any devices that you bought through Gumroad, you can continue to do that there. And in fact, all of the uh, initial devices that I released back in March uh, have received significant updates. So when I did the work to build these new tools and update um, some of the devices that are included in the pack, I also went ahead and made some pretty dramatic kind of performance improvements, UI improvements, and new features in a number of those uh, sort of version one devices. And I should probably do a video about what those changes are, so I'll do that as well. But if you wanna see those and use them, uh, you can just go uh, install those from your, uh, your Gumroad page. If you don't have those devices already, then I recommend uh, coming to this new store and you can download them. The best way is to use the launch bundle, which will give you everything. Uh, and then the final thing that I wanna mention here is that uh, if you, install the Ableton pack and you want to understand the devices better, certainly you can watch this video, certainly you can use the info view text that uh, that exists in live, uh, but there's also a manual which you can get from the store. I will put the links to all of these sites in the description uh, down below. And these include these kind of helpful sort of infographics uh, that explain how these devices work uh, I made them for the last round of devices that I made and people really seem to like them. So uh, yeah, we have those now as well for all of the devices. Okay, so now I'll take you over to live and show you these devices. Okay, so first off, if you want to install the pack from within live, you can do that just by going to packs and you should have a section that says available packs and then you can come, you can find it. MIDI tools by Philip Meyer, wherever it is, MIDI tools by Philip Meyer, and you just install that and then you have it, you have the devices. Uh, so there's five devices. There is Polyrhythm, which is a, a kind of a multi-track sequencer that can be used to make polymetric or polyrhythmic patterns. Uh, this is a device that came out uh, back when I released my original set of MIDI tools back when Live 12 came out. Um, and this version that's going to be bundled with Live has some new features. Uh, also included is Phase Pattern, which is a, another MIDI generator that I produced in the past and is useful for creating what I would call sort of nonlinear rhythms. Um, it is a bit of an unusual generator that allows you to create rhythms and melodies very quickly, generate ideas very quickly, get some very unusual results if you want those, but it also has some interesting applications for just giving yourself a quick melody or beat to get started. Finally, there's a new uh, generator that's available that is called Stages, uh, which is a generator that kind of follows a theme or sort of type of sequencer, which is I would call a stage-based sequencer. So the idea here is that we can have uh, a sequence that is defined by a set of stages and each stage has a number of 
steps to it, has a length. Um, and this one is very interesting for creating baselines in particular. I find it to be very useful. It's very good for kind of staccato, uh, like 16th note patterns and things like that. I'll show you this one really quickly um, as I get in here. I also have two transformers in this pack. So those three that I just talked about were all generators. They're going to generate new information into what would normally be a blank MIDI clip. And then the other two are transformers. And those are retrigger, which is a new one, which is basically going to take a note and repeat it and allow you to do some crazy stuff with that. And then finally, slice shuffler, which is a really simple and powerful device that allows you to generate variation on ideas that you already have. So I'm just gonna take you through this live set really quickly. I'm not gonna spend tons of time in the devices because I will do that in a future video, but I just wanna give you a sense for what's here and what some of the applications of these devices might be. So to start off, I have a pattern here that was produced with Polyrhythm. And the idea behind this device, let's start with the new clip is basically that we have six identical sequencers and we can very easily generate a pattern. So really good for drums. It also has a bunch of these different modes that allow you to achieve different results from the settings that you have up here. In particular, there's a new mode that is called Fit that I will talk about in a future video. Uh, that I think is very exciting. So that's that one, and here's a pattern I built earlier with it. Uh, next, I'll play something here that I created with a uh, face pattern. So the idea with this one is basically that we have this shape that kind of allows us to make notes whose spacing varies. And as you wiggle this line, you can see the spacing of these notes varying. Let's try like a bouncing ball pattern. We can also vary the velocity. And you can see that the device respects the scale settings that I have set. If you've been following along with the devices that I've been making, you'll have seen this one before. You can see that it looks a little bit different thanks to some help that I got from Ableton on uh, some design stuff. And there are also some new features in this one as well. Um, moving on to stages. This is a little baseline I made with stages. This one, like I said, is great for baselines. The idea behind this one is we have a set of stages, so let's make four of them. And to start off, each of those stages is one note long, and the pitches are all the same, but if I change the pitches, and again, we're respecting the scale, and now if I lengthen a stage, I can start to create a longer pattern. We gotta go down. can just play around and it's really great for just really quickly figuring out ideas. This final tab allows you to kind of introduce rests. And then we have a little bit of a velocity control here as well. So that's the three generators. I'm going to really quickly show you the, um, the transformers. So the idea behind the transformers basically very generally is they're great for when you have an idea and you want to modify it somehow, particularly with an eye towards creating variation. So if we start with, uh, let's say, um, this one, this clip here, and I'm actually going to mute, turn off everything except for this one, just so you can see what's happening. And we're going to choose uh, retrigger. 
and I have these sliders and I can link the device so that the number of sliders is equal to the number of notes. And then I can choose which of these notes I want to re-trigger and let's just go with the first one. So now what I've done is kind of, instead of uh, playing that note just one time, I'm actually playing it six times with this decaying velocity. So that's the idea behind this device. You can also do some of this time shaping that you may be familiar with, well, that you are familiar with, having seen it from Phase Pattern. And you do have the ability to either work in an unquantized fashion here, where these notes do not respect the grid, or you can quantize them to the grid. And then finally, I'm gonna start this pattern here and show you the last one, which is Slice Shuffler. So the idea here basically is that sometimes you wanna be able to take a section of a pattern or a clip and just change the order of the notes that are in there so that you can get some variation. It's like being able to add a little fill. So let's say for example that I wanted to take this section these notes here, and I basically just wanted to play them all in reverse. So I have a slice interval set, which is a quarter note, and this is a one bar pattern. And I'm gonna say for the second slice that I want it to be reversed. I could also randomize the order. And I could also rotate the order. So this one, simple, but it, I really think very, very powerful. I find that one thing that's very difficult with making music with computers and electronics and Ableton Live in general is kind of, you get an idea that you really like, and then you have to turn that into a composition. And one of the ways to do that is to kind of take that initial idea and find ways to subtly create variations upon it so that you can sequence through those variations and give people uh, variety while kind of maintaining a rhythmic and melodic theme. And so this is one device that I think does that really powerfully and uh, kind of surprises you in terms of its musical applications. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for a longer video in the future, really going through these devices in greater detail. Have fun.